There's no carbs on this plate, right? Well, at least the cheese curds don't have a bunch. So I'm back home for a bit while Annie's in class. Um, I spent the night throwing up, which kind of sucks. But it means I get those calories back, right? I mean, I didn't get to absorb them. Uh, so I think my um, brunch today is going to be saltines and ginger ale. For those of you that uh, have never done that, I found it very helpful on my stomach after throwing up. Hopefully it's the case this time. So I only used about half of my normal calories yesterday. Uh, my stomach wasn't feeling well and I just couldn't do food really. I ended up eating uh, leftover taco nachos for dinner. That didn't do me any favors either. Um, but thankfully this morning I'm feeling much better. I still have a really bad headache. Uh, after effect or after shock of having a migraine, I guess. But uh, we'll be able to eat today, so that's nice. When I was like 191 calories away from hitting my limit at 4 p.m. yesterday, I thought I was doomed. I thought for sure I was going to go over in calories, but I didn't. I held off. I didn't eat anything else. I kind of struggled, especially around 9 and 10 o'clock at night um, when I was driving my cousin back home at midnight. My stomach was like, feed me, but I didn't. Okay, I'm gonna admit something kind of interesting in my opinion. I'm not good at listening to my body. I don't know if it needs certain vitamins or minerals or what. I did my weigh-in this morning and I'm up a little bit more than half a pound. I stayed under my calorie limits every day. I would expect that I would stay the same or go down, but I didn't, I went up. And I know not all calories are created equal. I know some of what I'm eating has not been good for me, but I'm not very good at listening to my body. How do you learn that? Who teaches you that? I don't know.